Hello. Background matting v2 was a paper released in 2020. It's based on using neural networks to effectively key a subject, as long as the network is provided with a clean plate of the background. It works much better than difference keying. I've spent the last week writing a wrapper for it in Blender, which I'm releasing as a free add-on. Download the add-on and install it in Blender's preferences. I actually recommend keeping it disabled whenever you don't plan on using it, since it imports quite a large package and will increase Blender's loading times if it's left enabled. Once installed, you can find it in the Compositor workspace. Open the Node Tree side panel by hitting the N key. You'll also need to install a few extra Python packages. Do this by clicking Install in the Setup tab. The add-on handles package management with pip, but depending on your specific setup you might need to run Blender as an administrator. If it still doesn't work, you'll have to install the packages manually. There's plenty of tutorials for that already. The required packages are Torch, Torch Vision, OpenCV, NumPy, and Pillow. Torch is quite a big package, so I recommend grabbing a coffee while you download it. If you run into any technical issues while using the add-on and can't seem to figure out a solution, you can use this button to open a support ticket. This button prints some helpful info to the console. You can close this window by coming up here and clicking Window, Toggle System Console. Once the packages are installed, restart Blender. You only have to install the packages once. Finally, we'll need a model checkpoint. You can download the official ones from the paper by clicking Download. If you don't have a GPU, you'll need to use one of the models that ends with FP32. In this example, I'm using a 1070 Ti and the ResNet 50 FP16 checkpoint. Your footage should be locked on a tripod or have very minimal movement. We also need a single frame of the background, which will serve as our clean plate. Make sure the shot is lit evenly, ideally with a high resolution and minimal motion blur. Make sure the background isn't moving. Avoid filming in front of trees or crowds where the background is likely to change. Load the video and the clean plate. Then point the add-on to our downloaded checkpoint file. Select the device you want to use, and select an output format and destination folder. Here you can select which output layers you want. Composite in video mode will render the foreground onto a flat green plane which you can key out using Blender's keying node. In image sequence mode, the exported PNGs will have the transparency baked in. Alpha matte will export a black and white matte which can be used as a mask. You can also export both at once for the most flexibility. The Advanced tab has some extra parameters. I almost never use them. In my testing, the most impactful ones are the backbone scale, kernel size, and the refined pixels while in the sampling refine mode. Now just hit Extract Matte and watch the magic. Depending on your setup, this could take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. For my 1070 Ti, this 26 second 4K video takes about 6 minutes. Here are some of the results I got using the stock footage from the original paper. And here's a quick example of how useful this can be for visual effects. You can download the add-on from my Patreon linked in the description. You don't need to be a member to access it, but if you want to support future add-on development, you can become a member and receive some 3D assets as well. If you find this content valuable, please like and subscribe so I know to make more. Thanks everyone. I hope you find the add-on useful.